Hey my friend, today I want to talk to you about five ways you can make your business stand out from the crowd. So the first thing is carving out a niche. What do I mean by that? And for people that don't know what a niche is, it is simply selecting and identifying who your ideal client and target market is and then building your products, building your services to service that target market. With having a niche, you can also become a specialist um, and be known uh, as the go-to person in the industry for that particular segment or niche of the market. Number two is creating a unique brand. Now, why is it important to have a unique brand? It's because it allows you, as I said, to stand out from the crowd. It allows people you to differentiate yourself from the competitors, allows you to have a particular message and branding and be known for certain things in the market. So number one, you cover your niche, you become an expert in that industry. And then number two, you create a brand around that. So people can easily identify you and your business um, in that niche and in that market. A brand can also stand for the values that you have um, within your business and, uh, and what your goals are as well and how that is linked back to the goals and the aspirations of your target market and your niche. Number three, and that is to clearly determine and address what your customers' pain points are. This is a crucial part of a business and it helps you to secure those customers. If you are able to address their needs and solve their problem, that customer will be a satisfied customer and hopefully will be able to uh, be a repeat customer in your business as well. So ensuring and enabling your, both yourself and your staff and the processes that you have in your business to identify what these pain points are for your customers and then wait, finding ways and means to address them. If you can do that before they have these pain points, then that is perfect. But certainly along the way, as these things come up, address it, acknowledge it that these are pain points for your customer, and then find solutions and work towards uh, addressing those pain points. Number four, and that is to provide exceptional service and an awesome customer experience. We live in a world today where it's social, uh, social media and it's a social world. A bad experience travels 10 times faster than a good experience. So you wanna uh, ensure that you're providing exceptional services at any time of your business, whether it be from answering your phones, to taking orders, to delivering those orders, and then the follow-up. It's gotta be a great experience and a great service that you provide for your customer. Essentially, you wanna be able to have your customers talking about that experience and the service that you've provided them with their friends um, and their colleagues. And that ensures that obviously your business will be able to uh, grow much faster as well. And then very last, we have number five, accountability, which is admitting to errors um, and then working towards rectifying those problems. It's critical in your business that if a mistake occurs, that you acknowledge that and accept that responsibility that either yourself or your staff um, made a mistake or an error and that you clarify that with the customer and work towards ensuring that you rectify that error and then provide exceptional service back to that customer. So accountability is important, making sure everyone on your team knows that it's, it, mistakes will always happen but they've got to own up to that mistake and then ensure that they work towards providing an exceptional solution and exceptional service to your customers. So there you have it. There's five ways that you can make your business stand out from the crowd, provide excellent service, be known in your industry, be accountable for any errors that occurred and build a great brand.